Mi stai coppiando. Mm. <ride> <So>. <ride> <Out>. <ride> Ciao a tutti e benvenuti a 5 Minutes Italian. Hi everyone and welcome to 5 Minutes Italian. I'm Katie. And I'm Matteo. Ciao. And in today's episode, we're going to continue learning how to pronounce food on an Italian menu. And we're going to look specifically at the G sound. And if you've already followed our lesson on how to pronounce the C sound, great news. It's going to be very simple because the rules are more or less the same. So if you didn't catch that lesson, You can go back now and watch it where? Here. Here. And if you're listening on the podcast, then you can click the link in the comments below. The letter G in Italian is usually pronounced as a G. Like in origano, which is an herb that we usually use in tomato sauce or on the pizza. And you have to be a bit careful if you're a native English speaker, um, particularly in the UK, because we say origano. Whereas in Italian, it's pronounced as origano. And you can hear the hard g sound. Any more examples? Gamberi. Which means prawns. Sometimes you'll see the letters G and H together. And this is also pronounced as a g sound. Like in spaghetti or in margherita, that is a type of pizza. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. And these words are both pronounced with G-H in the middle, so we get G. Then we can have funghi. Which you may have seen before on a pizza menu, which means... Mushrooms. Sometimes G is pronounced as a soft J sound, like in the English word gin. English people. <laughs> And we pronounce it this way when it's followed by an I or an E. Like in stagioni of quattro stagioni. That is a type of pizza. Yeah, and I often see this name on pizza menus even in the UK as well. Yeah. Uh, but what's on a quattro stagioni? But usually ham, mushroom, artichokes, olives. <laughs> Pretty good. Yeah. Mm. Back to G. Um, oh, but another excellent food which is also on pizza menu is formaggio. Right. Um, that is cheese. Yes. And we have the sound jo at the end, which is spelt G-I-O. So you get the G-I, which means that we get the soft jo. And then we have fagioli. Mm -hmm. Which means beans. Or giorno that is usually used in menu del giorno. Menu of the day. So again, in fagioli and giorno, we get G-I-O. So the combination of the G and the I turns the sound soft. So we get fagioli and giorno. Right. Now let's look at some examples with the letter E. We have gelato which of course means ice cream and vegetariano which means vegetarian and this one is really useful if you go to Italy and you want to tell someone that you are a vegetarian so how would you say I'm vegetarian? Sono vegetariano Great, one more time Sono vegetariano Awesome Let's do a quick recap How do you pronounce the letter G in Italian? Most of the time, it's a hard G sound. Like in origano. And this includes when we get the letters G and H together. Like in spaghetti. But when G is followed by the letter I or E, it becomes a soft J sound. And we can see it in gelato. Perfect. So that was how to pronounce the letter G in Italian. And of course, these rules apply to any Italian words. So whenever you see the letter G, G H, G E, and G I, you now know how to pronounce it. Now over to you. Can you name any more Italian foods with the letter G in? And how do you pronounce the letter G? Is it a hard G, a G, or is it a soft G, a J sound? Let us know in the comments below. 
Thanks for joining us for this five minute Italian lesson. If you'd like to get more mini Italian lessons delivered to your inbox, sign up here. And if you're listening to the podcast, you can sign up in the comments box below. If you liked this lesson, please click like and don't forget to share it with your friends. So, see you next time. As we say in Italian, alla prossima. Ciao. Ciao.